artist's concept of the Tianzhou-1 spacecraft. Credit Chinamen Space Engineering Office The Chinese Tianzhou-1 resupply and refueling freighter re-entered Earth's atmosphere Friday, burning up as designed after a fifth-month mission demonstrating servicing techniques for China's future space station. The nearly 35-foot-long 10.6-meter robotic cargo carrier fired its thrusters two times to slow down and drop out of orbit, according to China's state-run Xinhua News Agency. The ground-commanded deorbit burns guided the Tianzhou-1 spacecraft into the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean at around 1,000 GMT 6 a.m. EDT 6 p.m. Beijing time Friday, Chinese space officials said. Tianzhou-1 is the first in a series of vessels designed to deliver cargo, food, clothing, water, and fuel to crews on China's future space station, an orbiting complex scheduled for completion by around 2022. The demonstration mission conducted three dockings with China's Tiangong-2 space lab, a precursor of the planned space station, and successfully transferred liquid fuel and oxidizer into Tiangong-2's propellant tank three times. Tianzhou-1 undocked from Tiangong-2 for the final time September 16. Since its launch April 20 on a long March 7 rocket, Tianzhou-1 tested technologies and servicing procedures China says will be required on the future space station. Designed to accommodate up to 14,300 pounds 6,500 kilograms of payloads, the Tianzhou spacecraft is similar in purpose to cargo freighters that fly to the International Space Station, such as the Russian Progress Supply Ship and the commercial Cygnus and Dragon carriers built by Orbital ATK and SpaceX. Tianzhou means heavenly vessel in Chinese. In design and capability, the Tianzhou is most like Russia's Progress and Europe's nor retired automated transfer vehicle which carried dry goods, water and propellant to the orbiting outpost. The U.S. commercial supply ships and Japan's HTV logistics vessel cannot refuel the space station. While no crews were present during Tianzhou-1's mission, the freighter hosted several automated experiments. Two Chinese astronauts on the Shenzhou-11 mission lived aboard the Tiangong-2 space lab for one month late last year, the longest crewed passive flight to date by China's space program. No more Chinese crews are planned to visit Tiangong-2. The next Shenzhou mission will launch astronauts to the Tian-1 module, the command section of China's planned space station set for launch in 2019. The Tian-1 module will be joined by China's second supply ship, named Tianzhou-2, for a cargo delivery before the first astronaut crew visits the orbiting facility aboard the Shenzhou-12 spacecraft. Two more modules will be added to the space station by 2022, completing assembly of a complex that is expected to have a mass of more than 60 metric tons, about an S of that of the International Space Station, and comparable to the mass of NASA's Skylab station in the 1970s. Email the author. Follow Stephen Clark on Twitter at stdphenclark one China Chinese Space Station Tianzhou-1